Hello everyone, this is Harsh. I'm a product manager at Intract and in this video, I'll walk you through all the important information that you require for getting your Facebook business verified. Once you get your Facebook business manager verified, your WhatsApp API messaging limit will increase to 1000, which can thereafter be increased to 10,000, 1 lakh or unlimited as well. Moreover, you will also be eligible to apply for a green tick for your number, which ensures that your customers, instead of only seeing your number, will also see your display name along with the green tick in your WhatsApp profile. So let us start with the requirements that you need to be ready with before we start the business verification process. Firstly, you will need your business website to be up and running and also to be HTTPS compliant. Your website should also have the legal name of a business mentioned in the footer. This legal name should be the same as the name mentioned in the documents that you upload later in this process. Copyright format to be kept in your website should be in the following format as shared below. Secondly, a business email ID as per your company domain would also be required. Yahoo or Gmail email IDs will not work. Lastly, you will also need official documents such as company registration certificate, GST certificate, MSME certificate, bank statement or a utility bill. One to verify your business name and the other one to verify your phone number. Now that you have met the requirements, let's get started. Firstly, you need to go to business.facebook.com and log in with your Facebook credentials. If you have already connected a number to your WhatsApp API account via Interact, you must have already created a Facebook business manager. You need to select the same business and proceed ahead. Once you have selected your Facebook business manager, scroll down from the left hand side and go to security center. On the security center, click on start verification. Click on get started and select your country. We will select India in this case and then hit next. On this page, you have to enter your details as per your legal documents. Once you have entered the details, you can proceed next. If you see a list of organizations found by Meta having a name similar to what you provided, you can select that. However, if your business is not in the list, you will automatically get an option to enter your details over here. Now here you can upload your supporting documents such as your business license, GST certificate, bank statement, MSME certificate, etc. to confirm the details that you have entered. In this case, we'll be uploading the GST document. And now to verify the phone number, we'll be uploading the business tag document as well. Once this is done, proceed next. Now, to prove your connection to this particular business, you need to verify the details via one of the options present below. The recommended option by Meta is obviously uh, the email. Make sure that you have an email address uh, with your company domain. So here we are just going to put in my email ID and click on send email. And now you need to wait for the OTP code to be received on your email address that you mentioned. Now the verification code, you can enter it and proceed next. To verify the mobile number, since there is no matching documents found, uh, we have to verify the mobile number as well, either via a phone call or via a text message. So I'll be selecting text message in that case. Verify the number that you mentioned and hit send text. Once you've entered the verification code, proceed next. And your submission will be applied to Facebook. After you submitted a verification, a decision can be made in as little as 10 minutes and as long as 2 working days. You will receive a notification when the review is complete via email. If you receive a confirmation that your business is verified, there is nothing more you need to do. However, if your Facebook business verification gets rejected, this can be due to reasons like there is a mismatch in the legal name or the proof of it is that you have submitted or the scanned documents that you have submitted are handwritten notes or are scribbled. Submitting two or more documents can also lead to delay or rejection of your application. Also from what we have seen, Facebook gives up to three chances to send corrected documents and apply for verification, post which they will disable the ability to apply for Facebook business verification altogether.